everybody. Welcome to Chair My Body Connection. We're going to start in about two minutes. All you're going to need today is your chair. That's it. haven't met before. My name is Jen and I'm going to be leading you through a little chair routine today. We are going to do a little core strengthening in our chair. Nothing too crazy so don't worry too much. We have another minute before we get started. So in case you're new here before, um, saying my name is Jen, and I stick a block underneath my feet just so I have a nice 90 degree angle with my knees. That's not something you need. It all depends on what kind of chair setup you have. I'm sitting on a workout bench. Um, so I also have this lovely little piece down here. So by sticking my feet out a little bit and adding the block, it makes me a lot more comfortable. So that's why I have that. That's not something that you need. All you need is a chair that you can sit at comfortably. And this can be um, an office chair, this can be a desk chair, this can be a kitchen table chair, it can be anything you want as long as you have the ability to lock the wheels if it has wheels so you don't slip and slide everywhere. I find it a little easier if there's not a swivel side to side, um, but you can make that work. That's not too much of an issue. The big thing is that just making sure that if we are standing up and sitting down, that the chair stays still when you're going up and down. It doesn't slide out from under you if it has wheels. So if it has wheels, all I ask is that you are on um, maybe some plushy carpet where it won't move. Um, hopefully the wheels lock, you can lock that. Um, but if you were on something a little bit, um, that has a little bit of a wiggle factor, maybe um, see what you can do to keep it from moving. But, okay, so it is quarter past 11. So we are going to start with our two minutes of quiet reflection or breathing or body scan, whatever it happens to be. I'm just going to breathe in and out, nice and slow and controlled. Just find a spot somewhere on the floor in front of you to just softly gaze. And then drop that chin. Come about halfway up. Drop that chin again. Holding it here. And come on up, turn and face the right. And come back in. Face the right again. And come back in. To the left. And in. And to the left. And 
back in. Point that chin diagonally up. And back down. And one more time. Up. And back down. Drop that ear to the shoulder and hold it here for a couple seconds. Switch sides. Again, switch. And switch. And back to the center. Just kind of cross your arms across your chest. Sit up nice and tall. And just lean forward and just straight. We're just leaning forward enough kind of so our arms hit our legs. The big thing is, is you have a nice straight back. Alright, come back up straight. Scoot yourself forward on the chair just a little bit. And now we're going to go back and just straight. So we're going back probably until our shoulder blades hit the chair, chair back. But if your chair back is farther back than mine, you go until you feel comfortable, and then you come back. So if you start getting a little too far back and you're like, ooh, this, this is getting a little dicey, then stop a little bit before that point. And you should feel your abs activate a little bit, which is the center. Now let's go all the way forward, all the way back, Center, reset. Forward, back, center, reset. Three more. Forward, back, center, reset. Forward, and back, center, reset. And forward, and back, and center. Now we're just going to go a little bit to the right side and coming up. So I'm not, I'm actually bending here at the hip. I'm not bending here. We're going to be bending here after. But right now we're just leaning and back. Just seeing what our center of gravity is today, how comfortable we feel going side to side. Let's do the same on the other side. One side may be different than the other. No worries if that's the case. And we have our hands across, so we're not using it to help us balance in any way. Okay, now we're going to crunch over at the waist. And switch sides. back to the center. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tilt forward, we're going to sit tilt to the right, we're going to tilt to the left, we're going to come back to center, we're going to crunch to the right, and then we're going to crunch to the left. So moving from the hips and then the waist. So cross your arms, over to one side, over to the other, come back, crunch, crunch. One more like that. Side A, side B, Crunch, crunch. A, B, crunch, crunch. Two more. A, B, crunch, crunch. Last one. A, B, and crunch. Beautiful. Release your arms, take one leg, cross it over. Point and flex that ankle, move it around. Lots of cracking going on in my joints today. You know when that feels good? Toes facing out, leaning forward, stretching up all this nice tight muscle and tendon on this outside of this hip. 
A lot of people have tight IT bands. This is a good stretch. And then come on up, uncross that leg and bring that foot in and give it a squeeze. Release that foot down and let's switch it out. Other leg. We're crossing over and we're moving that foot around. These socks show up well on camera with the light blue. And then point those toes and lean over. Have you noticed that you wear a lot less shoes now? If, if you are working from home, I'm barely in shoes anymore. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I have a little bit of a um, hip discrepancy, so one leg's a little shorter than the other. Um, and I have lifts in one of my sh shoes on my right side, so it kind of compensates a little bit. So I'm not sure if in the long term that's helping me be big the effort or not, but I've noticed that I'm really ever in shoes anymore. Release. Have you noticed any differences in your foot health or your gait or anything like that from being out of shoes more often? I think I'm only in shoes like an hour a day as compared to like 12 hours a day. So my sneakers are going to last a lot longer, I'll say that much. Okay, release, put that leg down, cross the other leg over. And let's spinal twist one eye. And spinal twist the other way. Come back to center. Switch out, other leg. And spinal twist one way. And the other. And release. Roll those shoulders down and back. And then forwards and down. Okay, release. So let's do some core exercises and then we'll do some other stretches and we'll do some more core. Kind of equal it that way. So, first thing we're going to do are heel slides. So, if you have anything in front of your feet, you're going to remove it. And you're going to scoot your hips farther away from the back of your seat. So I'm still supported on the seat, but I have a, my seat ends kind of right about here. So I have the ability to slide my leg out, slide my leg out, bring the knee in. So I'm going from my heel, heel to my toes. You could either bring your feet to flat, or you can bring your feet to toes. So if one leg at a time feels good, then you keep it there. If you feel like you can bring both in at a time, back out, both in at a time, back out, then I want you to do that. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. I'm just gonna count to 30. So you pick which variation you want, single leg or double. Now, if you're doing double, you're probably gonna hold on for support, I would suggest doing so. Ready? On your mark, get set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Breathe, relax. Hopefully you weren't holding your breath. If you want to grab some water really quick, please do so. We're going to do that one more time. Though. But every set of abs that we do today, we're going to go through twice. And I should say core, not abs, because we want to work the front and the back. And the sides, and the inner abs, and the outer abs. We want to work the entire core region. We never want be imbalanced to the best of our ability. Of course, imbalances will happen and life happens. We deal with it and move on. But if we can help any imbalances to form, we want to try to do so. Okay, so we're going to go through that 30 seconds again. Remember, we're single leg or double, totally your call. If you find that you need to lean back a little bit on your seat, to pull those legs in, that's fine. Just make sure that the back is nice and flat. That's the key, okay? The breath. Don't hold your breath during these. On your mark. Get set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Great job. <sighs> Take a rest. Grab some water. All right, let's do a little bit more stretching, and then we'll come back and do another set of abs. And at any point in time, if you're like, I don't want to do any more abs, that's totally fine. You can stretch completely by yourself, or if you don't want to do that, you can just sit. And like we do when we're starting class, when in class, you just have your hands on your thighs and just kind of breathe in and out and just worry about your breath while we do the abs. That's totally optional too. So, okay, so let's take an arm and we're just gonna come up in front, and back down. Just work that shoulder joint a little bit. And we're gonna pretend we're a clock. So we're going at 12 o'clock here. And let's go to one. And two. And three, up to the side. Four. Other side, come out to the front, do a couple times here. This is our 12 o'clock, and we're just going to do the numbers. I know they're going to be backwards, but don't worry about it. So we're 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Three o'clock, out to the side. Four. Five. And six. We're gonna go through one more time each side. Other arm, 12. One. Two, three, four, 
four, Shake it out. All right, let's just do some little head side to side. And we're gonna do another ab exercise. We're gonna do crunches. We're gonna do these crunches seated. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna have our hands in front like we did before. And we're just gonna lean forward and back up. So when we did it the first time, our hands were down here and that kind of stopped us. And this time I want you to have your hands up. So we're going forward and back. So not only is having your hands up, get them out of the way of your knees, it also works some of that shoulder too. So we're going to do two sets, two sets, two sets of 30 seconds. And slow, controlled, leading forward and up. Just as if you were crunching on the floor, same motion. If you'd rather have your hands behind your head here, that's totally fine. All I ask is that when you do your crunch, you keep those arms perfectly still. They do nothing. They're just out here to the side. Elbows pointed out. You're not pulling your head in any way, shape, or form. So I'm going to do my arms across here, but if you want to do them here, or even if you want to do them here, that's totally fine. We're doing our crunches nice, slow, and controlled. You take breaks when you need to, and you just stop if you need to, okay? On your mark, get set, go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29 and 30. Beautiful. Take a rest. Support your back. And just take a couple breaths. Grab some water. We're going to do a little spinal twist or do a little back bend. The back bend would feel good. Just put my hands back by my tailbone and just arching my back a little bit. Feels good to me. Does it feel good to you? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Okay, we're ready to start set two. All right, make any variations that you want. Totally cool with me, as long as you are safe and healthy and in control. All right, you ready? On your mark, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 8, 29, and 30. <sighs> Take a break. Core feeling okay? If you need to arch or twist or make any adjustments, feel free. And if you just sit nice and tall, take your right arm, bring it behind your back, sitting it nice and tall, and that hand's kind of peeking out. Just opening up that shoulder. Switch it out, other side, hands peeking out over here. 
So you can come just as up and back with that shoulder on this side as you could on the other. And release, I'm going to take my left hand, I'm going to bring it across in support of myself. I'm going to bring my upper, my upper, my right arm up and over. I swear some companies make fun words. And I can either look to the side or I can look up. My choice, depending on what feels good today. And then release, I'm going to switch sides and come up and over. Now I'm going to try it without having this supporting hand. If you need it here, don't worry, just do it. Otherwise, that arm is going to be on the outside of your body, just just chilling. Come up to the side of where I want. Really, so I'm going to lean forward, support my upper body with my lower body, and just let my head and neck relax, let those arms relax. ready for ab number three. Okay, so we're going to do bicycles. So we're going to do one leg at a time or two legs at a time. We'll go through both. So I'm going to scooch forward in my chair. I'm going to remove any sort of prop I have. I'm going to have my hands behind me holding onto my seat and I'm going to bring one knee in and down and the other knee in and down. This is option one. If that feels good and you want to add on, then you're going to have the legs up in the air. You decide which one you want to do. I would like you to have as much of a flat back as possible. Obviously, you can't have your um, back up against the backrest because your hands are back here. But if your chair allows you to and you feel like you can have a good back support, you can do so. But if you feel any sort of pinching or twisting or uncomfortableness, drop to that single leg where only one foot is off the ground at one time. And that's the one I'm going to be doing during our 30 second times together. But if you want to add that second layer in, by all means do so. Just make sure you're doing it properly. Okay, I'm holding on. Back is flat. Three, two, one, and go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, 28, 29, and 30. Rest. Grab some water. That was a hard one. I get it. It was. We do have to go through it one more time, though. And as I said before, if you don't want to go through it another time, stretch a body part. Wait quietly until we're done, whatever. Ever float your boat? <laughs> I promise this is the hardest one we're going to do today. You have this one, some other stuff, one more ab, and then and that's it. So only 
three more 30 seconds of that section is locked into today's class. Okay? All right. Pick your position. Nice flat back. On your mark, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty. Rest. Awesome work. Have that back supported. Take a couple deep breaths. I want you to just look up all the way up to the ceiling. And then come back. We're going to do some lion's breath here. So if we haven't done this before in class, we've attended. It's really weird. Basically, we're going to do a lion's breath with a shoulder raise. So what I want you to do is you're going to make like this horrible like lion outside of a um, public library, like ah, scratchy, like I'm roaring type of face. That's what I want you to make, lion's breath. We do that, we hold it for a couple seconds, and then we literally just drop everything. So we go, and then drop, relax, just let it be. We're going to do it five times. The whole idea is just to scrunch up that face, tighten everything in your face, tighten everything in your shoulders, hold it for about three seconds, and then release. Re reset, and keep going. Kind of get, get the gist. And this is a really great one to do in your office, as long as you don't have your Zoom camera on, um, to do right before meeting, right after meeting, um, if you kind of get a little tension in your jaw. This is a great way to just make sure that you're really releasing really things. Okay? Take a breath. And we're going to go in three, two, one. And release. Bonus points if you if you if you roar, but I'm not gonna roar. I mark, get set, I release. Number three, I mark, get set, release. And if you notice that if by expanding your jaw, if that's painful in any way, just don't go as deep. So it's not a big issue. You can decide how intense you want to make it. Two more. On your mark, get set. Release. One more. On your mark, get set. And release. Shake it up. Just let everything go for a couple seconds. Sit on up nice and tall. Spinal twist, one side. And switch. Back to the center. Bring your right shoulder towards the middle. And just lean forward. You can either lean forward on your knees or you can bring your knees separate and go a little deeper. Your choice. Flop bag as always. Alright, other side. back to the center. Okay, the last two rounds of core. So we're going to do sideways. So you're going to have your yin back behind your head and we're going to crunch and we're going to come up. We're going to do 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side. Sound cool? Just one, just one time through. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and I'll do finished. 
All right, so I'm going to start on this side. You can start whatever side you want. All I ask is that your hand is behind your head and your elbow is pointed all the way to the side wall. It's not kind of in here. It's out as far as it can go, really opening up here in the pack. We're not putting any pressure on our head. We're just leaning down and up, and this is just keeping our arm out of the way. All right, one, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, 30, release that hand, shake out that side. Get ready for side B, so bring that arm back behind. Make sure that elbow is pointed out to the side. And let's go three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Beautiful. Shake out that side. I'm just going to bring my arms forward to support them. The upper body, let that head to relax. Look down to the floor. Take a couple seconds here. Almost done with class for today. Come on up, bring those arms behind and just do a little back bend. So we're just pushing. That chest forward and looking up towards the ceiling. Release, shake it out. Bring your back to your chair, support that back. Bring one arm all the way straight up. Bring that thumb pointed straight back. And switch. Other side. Up. Elbow goes, oh, elbow, thumb goes straight back. And release. Now bring both arms up. Grab one wrist. Pull slightly to the side. And the other, slightly to the side. Back to center, let those arms go down. Bring one knee in. Big hug, squeeze. release other side same thing bring that knee in and actually give it a big squeeze release and then bring those arms in front and just do some rest circles Left, right, up and down, opening doorknobs, all those motions, piano fingers, and then take that hand, grab the other hand, and pull it down. You want to put your hand down on your leg, totally fine. 
Sometimes when I'm holding it up, it's a little intense. Other side. Release, take your hand to the side of your head. Just lift the weight of your hand. Push that ear close to the shoulder. And then switch sides. Through center. I'm gonna do a rolling your chin in a little semicircle. So bring your head to the side, lean it forward, come up, and let's do some little half circles here. One more time each direction. And then to the top half, up and around. This one might be a little bit more restrictive. One more each side. Come back to center. Couple more shoulder rolls. We never do enough. Let's switch direction. Lean forward. Stretch one leg out. Roll down. Hamstring stretch. I'm not supporting my upper body with this hand. It's just kind of here. Roll on up, and let's switch sides. Roll down. And roll it on up. All right, let's go into our final relaxation for class today. Get yourself comfortable. Put any sort of sweatshirts on, socks on, blanket on, whatever you'd like. Hands on the thighs, closing your eyes or finding a soft gaze. If there's a different position that you want to be in, do it. Don't wait for permission to me. I can't see you. Just do it.
feel free to stay a couple more minutes longer. Thank you so much for coming to class with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope your abs and back and obliques and all that, all this middle isn't not too sore later. Feel free to stretch it out as the day progresses. Have a great day, and I'll see you later.